<clears throat> Toastmasters and dear guests, good evening. I welcome you all for the 839th meeting of the Chennai Toastmasters Club. The mission of every Toastmaster Club is to provide positive and supportive learning experience, thereby mem members are empowered to improve their communication skills and leadership qualities, resulting in greater personality growth and self-confidence. Before moving into meeting, I would like to brief certain rules to be followed throughout the meeting. Kindly keep your mobile phones on silent mode. Uh, kindly sit in a, for those who to attend the online meeting, kindly sit in a silent atmosphere for the better meeting experience. Uh, do not talk about the three topics, which is sex, religion, and politics. If you would like to convey any message, uh, those are online, please use the chat box. And those are in a physical venue, please uh, communicate to no the Toastmaster Naveen. With this, I would like to hand over the meeting to our presiding officer, uh, Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana. Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana is our current club president and he was ex vice president public relationship. He was ex vice president education and ex vice president membership. Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana, the stage is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster Parli Sami, the standard arms. Uh, good evening, Toastmasters, guests, and my dear friends, those who are uh, online and physical they were present. Once a high school student by name Rahul is an imaginary story. Rahul came home very late, and his dad asked him, Why are you so late? He said, I was into a combined study with my friend Ramesh at his house. So the dad didn't believe in him. So he called Ramesh and checked with him. Hey Ramesh, was Rahul there at your house? He said, yes, uncle. We both were doing combined study. He just left. Has he reached home? But still, dad had a doubt. He called other friends and each friend was saying that he was there at his home. And to add to it, the last guy said, yes, Rahul is, is next to me. He's studying. Please don't disturb him. And the dad still got confused. Where was this guy gone? Where was he for the last three, four hours? But the reason for the story is not to find out where Rahul was. It was just to let you know the value of the friendship. The friendship can also be a partner of time. Because today is a friendship day and wishing you all a happy friendship day. And on that note, I declare open the Chennai Toastmasters Club meeting, meeting number 839. I would like to recognize the presence of our area C1 director, Toastmaster Abhilash. Thank you, Toastmaster Abhilash, for helping us. Anyone else? So, uh, some more people to join. And uh, do we have any guests here? There's no new guest here. Uh, is there any guest? Uh, guest Pungali Ramesh. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? Good evening, sir. Hi, good evening. I'm a student, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So you please sit relaxed and watch for this meeting. And we'll get back to you again by the end of this meeting. OK, sir. And the next guest, guest Vishal. Yes, sir. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? Sir, uh, myself, uh, my name is Vishal and I have completed my graduation BCom in uh, PG Vaishnav College. Okay. And uh, I, have, uh, I have been writing the exams for uh, uh, cost and management accountant. I'm waiting for the results. Oh, great. great. All the best for you. Uh, please continue this meeting. Uh, we'll, I'll again catch up with you by the end of this meeting. Sure, sir. And I think, yeah, we'll, we'll catch up with others. 
very soon and uh, i think before we start the meeting i want to invite our uh, secretary uh, to master satish who is working in solar uh, technologies and is in, which is into solar technology as well as uh, to master satish is going to give us the summary of what happened last week through his uh, report thank you Uh, good evening to all. We had last we had the meeting of eight uh, thirty thirty eight held on thirty uh, first July twenty twenty two. We had good attendance. The opening ceremony was uh, uh, T M Navin started the meeting with mission, vision, and uh, code of conduct. He explained that. Presiding officer was T M Lakshmi Narayana. Uh, toast master of the day was Mr Abilas. Uh, we had uh, seven uh, icebreaker speech so they had uh, delivered a good speech it was very nice so the ge comments was appreciated all the role players and recommendation was to share the screen stand topics of the during table topics at a table topic session this were very useful to the uh, speakers for the better clarity and meeting uh, hall camera is not clear so i think today also we have to improve some quality and then Uh, timing to be followed by everyone. Actually, last week uh, it took uh, two hours twenty uh, minutes. So the best role player was Abhilash Suresh. Uh, best speaker T M Kandi Babu. Best tag player T M Navin Raj. Best evaluator T M Nanda. Best T T speaker T M Jimmy. Thank you all. Over to to uh, presiding officer. Thank you, Sudesh. and now it's time to start the meeting and today uh, our mc the mic coordinator or our uh, toastmaster of the day is going to be our as uh, a very seasoned a senior toastmaster who has been with the toastmaster for the past 11 years who was working in sundaran clayton before and currently working in infosys uh, he is our toastmaster guru ayappan i welcome toastmaster guru ayappan to take the stage and run through the show from now on. thank you very much for the warm introduction our uh, president lakshmi narayana today's meeting is going to be scintillating scintillating yes you will understand why it is going to be scintillating the theme of the day is discover the leader in you discover the leader friendship day discover the leader then is there something correlation initially i thought of selecting something related to friendship day but since we are celebrating our 75th independence day shortly so i thought of uh, discovering the leader in ourselves so i selected the topic discover the leader in you now let's see how toastmaster helps to identify that uh, leaders in our sect for example take the example of transformation of a egg a hen chicks many lays many lays many eggs but only few hatches into chickens the remaining is uh, something happens to them so why this happens now let's see likewise many people join toastmaster to improve their communication and leadership skills but only few like that few chickens they are successful in achieving the pinnacle in both communication and leadership skills so we should also be one of the uh, chicks who helps uh, who wants us to develop uh, as a communicator and leader in this forum who helps them and mentor is a right person who helps us in achieving the goal our goal by guiding us into the right path by selecting the right topic the right speech and guiding us in evaluating everything so so that is how toastmaster helps to identify to discover the leader in ourselves now every toastmaster segment has three segments but before that let me introduce today's toastmaster of the day toastmaster rajakni yeah
good evening everyone i'm brad lakshmi so uh, uh, i'm so happy to uh, inform you that i join in uh, chennai toastmaster club so this is my uh, uh, like a first speech in to toastmaster as a joining member so thank you once again and uh, now now i'm going to talk about uh, one of my friends experience under the topic of uh, code master so a college friend of mine uh, who is very active in volunteering and uh, he is a very passionate about volunteering and his job is to do a volunteering in a weekend he wants to be a, he wants to do volunteering at least once a month and that is his uh, major task in a college days so he has that habit like helping for each other and supporting ngos and uh, uh, like at least whatever uh, he can do from his extent so he used to uh, support a lot of uh, blood request and he has the habit of uh, Uh, just saving his number uh, in a, 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 a with a blood uh, blood request name. For example, if your name is uh, uh, Balaji, means he saves with Balaji O Postu. So he has that very good habit of saving a name because in that way he can help others to uh, fulfill the blood need also. So so uh, uh, he has that regular habit of helping each other. And the thing is, he he studied in a prominent university. Uh, in the in the university campus itself, they have a hospital. So the hospital blood uh, blood bank used to call him for a blood need request. And one day he he got a call from the bl uh, blood bank for the blood request for O negative. Uh, and uh, for that blood request, even uh, he was attending the cl uh, class. Uh, uh, amid the, uh, amid that time, he got the call and then he got the permission from the class Peter. And then he uh, he went to class by class to fulfill the uh, blood re uh, requirement. so what happened was uh, literally he didn't get any uh, any possible way to uh, at, uh, handle that blood request because uh, and uh, uh, and once uh, suddenly he started to weeping and cry uh, like he can't even help that person so that time i was i was next to him i i i i got literally shooked away because uh, it is kind of such a humanity that we have never faced in my life i have never faced that So that is a major incident. Uh, one is, and uh, coming to the another story, uh, like uh, he has the, uh, another habit of helping uh, uh, helping a person who is paralyzed, like a person that he 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 he, he, uh, he can't uh, like uh, um, stand or uh, he can't do anything by himself. So he he was helping that family, like supporting that family, uh, giving them a monthly provision, and then supporting yeah. them in a mental way. Yeah, so he was helping that person once huh? in a month. Uh, ah, he, he was unable to help that person. To, uh, hey, Amo. Because that uh, that provision only the one uh, one part to uh, one one part that to fulfill that stomach that month. But uh, uh, he was unable to help that person. Uh, that month also. Ah, and the part there, and the one he serving, Martin Lang gets the thing is. Uh, If you if you just observe the person next to you, like a person that is in my life, even if you observe uh, in a person next to you in your uh, in your like friends or a family, like uh, at least they have a habit of a uh, very small kindness. Sorry, that small kindness makes this world a very beautiful place to live and a be very better place to uh, survive in uh, whatever way. So that is very important aspect. So in the both storylines, there is a one point humanity. so the world makes uh, humanity makes this world better be, better by uh, day by day better please so uh, the quote is uh, i i just wanted to tell this quote in a kamal act a kamal way yaar ne theriyada oru manushanukaga alakudi and oru manasu dhan kadaval translating that uh, this in english a heart that is shedding tears uh, uh, knowing that aunt, uh, for unknown boys unknown boys that is a uh, uh, god here so thank you so much Yes, sir. Yes. A very good evening to fellow Toastmasters and guests. As an idiom master, it is my responsibility to share a few idioms today. I found few fun idioms. Let me just share the screen. Uh, can anyone please make sure that my screen is visible? Yes, it's possible. Yes, thank you. 
The first idiom for today is I smell a rat. Where do we use I smell a rat? When something is suspicious, uh, we can use this idiom saying I smell a rat when I found some of my items missing from my desk. Or we can use it as I smell a rat, he's cheating on you. And the second idiom is it's water under the bridge. Uh, when past events do not matter anymore, we can use this idiom. We had our differences earlier, but now it's water under the bridge. And the third one is snug as a bug, which means extremely comfortable. Uh, we can use this with idiom when anyone asks you, are you warm enough by the fire? You can say, I am snug as a bug in a rug. Also, it rhymes perfectly. I hope you all enjoyed the slides and the videos today and also uh, very happy friendship day to everyone. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Every Toastmaster meeting has three segments. One is prepared speech. Second one is table topic segment. And third one is general evaluator. In prepared speech segment, every preparer comes with a, a mission of, a, 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 with the objective of a speech. For example, if a level one icebreaker is to introduce ourselves, second project is uh, to speak about a project and get feedback and give feedback about and, to do another speech based on the feedback received on the first speech. So likewise, speakers will prepare a script and uh, will come and present a speech in front of audience. Now, second segment is table topic session, which is like putting a, a egg in a boiling water. When you put the egg in a boiling water, it will come very harsh and uh, very hot. So sometimes uh, we hear also Toastmaster, table topic master will put, uh, will put some topics uh, to the guest and the uh, uh, non role players. And so thereby bringing the spe uh, speaking capacity, speaking capacities out so that they come more, uh, they give more speeches or, and space, space, stage fear is also to overcome stage fear. And third one is general, like the uh, general evaluator segment. It is like a general egg breaker because the reason why I call us general egg breaker when you put the, uh, uh, when egg breaks from its inside, it gives life. When egg breaks from outside, it lives ends. So general avatar is like one giving a life from within. It he removes the shells of the fears from the role players, the speakers, and thereby giving confidence for player, uh, people, Toastmasters to take up various roles and come up with uh, various features. So that's why I called a general egg breaker. So now it is my turn to introduce General Eggbreaker for the day. He is Toastmaster Jimmy Patros, who is a senior to season Toastmaster, past treasurer, and, and a scintillating speaker and a humorous speaker. Over to you. Can I? A very good evening, uh, dear Toastmasters and guests. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster of the day. Uh, I love the tag, uh, General Egg Breaker. And uh, as, as we introduced, I am the general evaluator for the day. And my duty uh, for the day is to evaluate the general conduct of the meeting. I will be commenting on each and everything that is happening throughout this meeting. And I'll submit my report when called upon by the Toastmaster of the day by the end of the meeting. And uh, to help me in doing that, I have a set of uh, two teams. The first one is uh, the tag team. It is timer, our counter and grammarian. And the second one is the individual speech evaluators. So currently I'll introduce my tag team. Uh, we have our timer for the day, uh, Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana, who is the current president of CTM. I request Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana to please come over and uh, say your objectives.
Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, good evening to Osmosis and guests once again. Uh, I'm now I'm standing in front of you as a timer. As a timer, I'll note down the time taken by each speaker, table topic speaker, and evaluators. So I'll show appropriate signals when uh, when the particular time limit uh, goes. For example, in today's prepared speech, we have only one prepared speech, uh, which is a uh, five to seven minute speech. So at five minutes, I'll show green uh, green card. At six minutes, I'll show yellow card. And at seven minutes, I'll show red card. Uh, so even the audience here in the physical room need to watch in the monitor for the uh, cards here. And I will also signal the speaker from my side for, for the appropriate uh, cards as well. So I'll uh, submit my report when called upon by the general evaluator. Over to you, Jimmy. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana. Uh, next, we will introduce our, our counter, uh, Toastmaster Gandhi Babu. Toastmaster Gandhi Babu is a business development manager at an IT company, and he's a proud father of Priscilla Gandhi studying in third standard. Over to you, Toastmaster Gandhi. Thank you, General Avalvator. Hello and good evening, my fellow Toastmasters and my dear guests. The purpose of our counter is to note uh, any overused words or uh, filler sounds used uh, as a crutch by anyone who is speaking during the meeting. Words may be inappropriate interjections, such as and, well, but, so, and you know, etc. And sounds may be uh, um, uh, during the evaluation, of, uh, evaluation portion of the meeting, I will report uh, my observation, then call upon. Thank you. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster Gandhi Babu. Next, we have our uh, grammarian, uh, which is uh, Toastmaster uh, Palani Swami. Toastmaster Palani Swami is a leather technologist by profession. And over to you, Toastmaster Palani Swami. Thank you, General Evaluator. Uh, good evening, Toastmasters and dear guests. As a grammarian, uh, my responsibility is to pay close attention to all the speakers and listen carefully their speeches. I will. I will take note of any misuses of the English language, and I will also note the, the extraordinary words, the special words used by the speakers. I will present my report at the end of the meeting. The role of, one more role of the responsibility of the grammarian is to introduce the word of the day. The word of the day is scintillate. It is meaning sparkle. Just a minute, I'll, I'll share my screen. Scintillate. The practical usage is to express any extraordinary performance or any extraordinary act. It was an scintillating speech. This can be used to express a very good speech. And in cricket, this can be used and express a scintillating knock. So to introduce this uh, word of the day, actually our Toastmaster, they already used it multiple times and made it look my role very easy. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster Palani Swami. So uh, let's move on to the next segment. Uh, I will hand over uh, the mic to our uh, Toastmaster of the day. We are awaiting a lot of scintillating performances today. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Dear Toastmasters and guests, now let's jump into the most important segment of any Toastmasters meeting, that is prepared speech, uh, prepared speech uh, segment. Now today we have one scintillating speaker in form of Naveen Raj, Toastmaster Naveen Raj, who is doing his level two, project three, innovative planning. His project title is Acclaim to DDNF. His favorite leader I asked him is uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam and uh, act, uh, uh, actor Vivek for his tree planting. So now before introducing, uh, introducing before inviting 
Navin Raj, I request is evaluated those must abolish to give a, to read out the project objective of this speech. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the day. A very warm good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests, and a special good evening to my target speaker. So Toastmaster Naveen is delivering his project three from level two of innovative planning, which is introduction to Toastmasters mentoring. The purpose of this project is for Toastmaster Naveen to clearly define how Toastmasters envisions mentoring. The purpose of this particular speech is for Toastmaster Naveen to share some aspect of a previous experience as a produce. All the best Toastmaster Naveen and back to you Toastmaster of the day. Thank you Abhinash. Acclaim to DDNF, Toastmaster Naveen Raj. Toastmaster Naveen Raj, acclaim to DDNF. Over to you. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and my dear guests. I, as an introduction to mentoring, I start with the quote, a mentor who always show the hope in yourself. So as the part of the speech, first, yeah, a man who walks through a way and he suddenly fall down into the flower pot and that on that time a water blows on his face so he suddenly took have a some thought and put the flower flower pot into that near by the water then he walks through the same way to adjust himself to the office on that time he saw a woman struggles to lift the lift her vehicle then suddenly he goes that type and helped her to lift the vehicle. And then he moves to the office. On that time, he saw a children begs for his education. So he melt down and donate some amount to the children. And then he finished off his work and came out to the home, returned to the return from the office. On that time, he saw a old woman nearby his home she want some food so he again came to the marketplace and brought some food and give it to the old woman needed then he did this continuously for the month but remember he is not spend the money for his life and he is not spend the money for his his own expenses he used only limited expenses and spend the money for his needed need persons and some people who he went through the way on that time, he saw some needed persons. So he spent the money to that needed persons only. Then after some time, he continues the same part in his daily life. On that time, suddenly he saw the big children can't sit on that floor. And that time he suddenly stuck and his mind was blocked because he can't saw the children on that place where he daily keep the money for her. Then he suddenly looked back, the children came with the school dress to, for the school life. So he thought that he daily put some amount of money to the children and on time, on day, it will become the school fees for that children. So on that, in that story, we have learned some commitment, clarity, communication. So where the three C's are important for the Toastmasters mentoring our program also. On that type, I have learned the three C's, clarity, communication, and commitment from my mentor also. Where whenever I sent a script to her on evening or it morning or it will be afternoon, whenever I send the script at the spot, I will receive the message from her to improvise my speech. Later, it will become, uh, I will send the script on 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. or even I send the script at 12 p.m. also, I will receive the same message within fraction of five seconds, I will get the message. And within 10 to 15 minutes, I will get the message from her, like my speech, how I want to improvise the script. 
so after that we worked on that same progress after that some time when i joined to i uh, she pushed me she pushed me into the leadership roles also so i joined sergeant at arms at the starting period of my term and i learned a yeah, many many skill leadership skills throughout time management and like goes on because sergeant at arms is the main role to introduce he is the key person for the uh, each meeting because he have 2 to 3 minutes introducing the president in for even 26 weeks so i started my program as the sergeant at arms and again as the treasurer and secretary and now i am working as a vice president education because it's all goes to credit goes to my mentor only because the mentor who shows the hope in ourself she shows she hopes me in i will one day one day i will lead the our club also on that time i will get the commitment and clarity and communication from her and i took that same way to my mentees also because while we are mentoring some members in that way surely we will hope they will also acknowledge on that one day they will also lead the hope leaders and they will find the way to lead the successful life so once again i will show the three c's are the most important for the mentoring commitment clarity and communication on that i am transferring myself into a successful leader i think hope and with that note i will hand over the to toastmaster of the day toastmaster guru airapan it is really indeed a scintillating and a inspiring speech navin a job well done now we move on to the second segment which is table topic segment which helps speakers and role players to improve the to overcome the stage fear and also increase the public speaking chances so with all this now i introduce the table topic master toastmaster sharath who is also who is inspired by mr sujit of uh, infosys martam foundation because he is a student of martam foundation so on that aspect i introduce table topic master so toast master sharad to stage thank you toastmaster of the day toastmasters and my dear guest this is the time for table topics so let me explain what a table topic is table topic session is a session where a topic will be given impromptu to all the all the non role players and the guests who are at the meeting preferably uh, you will be given a topic you have to speak for a minimum of 2 minutes maximum of uh, minimum of 1 minute maximum of 2 minutes at the end of 1 minute uh, timer will show green light at the end of 1 minute 30 second timer will show yellow light and the end of 2 minutes timer will show red light you have 30 seconds to wind up your speech if you cross more than 2 minutes 30 second you may not be you will not be eligible for voting purpose so today i hope this tt session is going to be a great engaging session without much ado let's start our session uh, first i have variety of topics so first topic is going to be a set of pictures i will show a set of pictures you have to speak on the picture what you feel anything there is no correct answer for the picture whatever you feel in the mind you can talk so for the first topic i would like to call uh, toastmaster srigan kutikrishna Toast Master Renga, Parmeshwari. Toast Master Renga, Parmeshwari. Toast 
Toastmaster Krishna. Hello. Yeah, Renika, ma'am, are you available? Yeah, I'm here, sir. Yeah. Fine. So your topic is. I will show you a picture. You can start. Yeah. Very good evening to all the Toastmasters. Uh, I'm very happy to see the picture. Uh, it seems uh, putting hands together, we can go any height with good uh, with good attitude and uh, putting hands together with people uh, with good attitude, we can go to great altitude. Uh, that is the thing I could uh, see from the picture. So that uh, we can succeed in our life and we can reach our destiny, what we believe in. Thank you, Master. Over to you. Ma'am, you can go ahead for one minute minimum. Still, we have time. You can go ahead. Okay. So, since they are having the flag in their hands, no? So, this is the month where we are also going to hoist the flag of our uh, uh, successful independence. So, it would have come uh, only out of the people who have joined hands together to make our country so independent. So we are going to celebrate the 75th uh, Independence Day, I think. So uh, like that, we shall all put hands together to make our society to a great level. Thank you, Toastmaster, and back to you. Thank you. So it's uh, time for me to call the second participant. I'd like to call distinguished Toastmaster Venu Nilagandan. Sir, are you available? I, Sarad, I joined right now. Can you give me two more minutes so that I will be ready? Yes, sir. Sure, sure. Thanks. Toastmaster Abhilash. Hi, hi, Toastmaster Sharad. Yeah. So today everyone will be called. So there is no parity for role players, dance role players, etc. Abhilash, your picture is on the way. Yeah. Since chess competition is happening in uh, our country, especially Chennai, so you have a picture. All right. A very warm good evening, fellow those masters. So, in chess, as all of us know, how many moves can a king make? Anyone? Toastmaster Palni Chami got it right. The king can move just one direction, one move in any direction. But in contrast, let me tell you, be it any other piece, it has more number of moments than a king. And yet, at the end of the day, what happens? When you checkmate the king, you win. But how can you checkmate the king? You need the help of all other pieces, right? You cannot Checkmate a king with a king alone. That ends in a draw. So, whatever happens is a result of teamwork. While at the end of the day, it is the leader, whoever, you know, whoever or whatever they may be, while well, it's the leader who shows his face. But let me tell you, at the end of the day, nothing is possible without teamwork. And what better forum to tell you all than here at Toastmasters? We all have a club executive committee where the president is supposed to be the face of the club. But the president's only job is to be the face of the club and ensure meetings go all right. For each and every aspect of the club's functioning, we have so many different officers, right from the VP education, membership and PR, who each have their own functions. And together, when they contribute as a team, it is at that time that the club truly shines. I would say this, so please don't mistake me, Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana. The president basks in the reflected glory of his officers. A true president, a true leader's success is how successful he runs his team. If the team runs flawlessly, then alone does the leader get credit. So it's all about teamwork. As a single person, it is difficult to achieve anything. And that is why they say, right, one plus one is never two. One plus one is always 11. That is the power of teamwork. Back to you, Table Topic Master. 
thank you so much toastmaster abilash for you have proved you are the area director of uh, toastmasters international thank you so much next i would like to call toastmaster grandi yes toastmaster sir so just this your picture is on the way here it is can you please uh, yep god thank you very much hello and good evening again my uh, dear first masters and my fellow guests uh, the pictures and other happy uh, laughing uh, kid it tells me every coin has its own head and tail and every everyone has uh, a face that i that they could show to the society and they face uh, that they hidden in, in, in himself so yes uh, life is a part of uh, ups and downs you have to get with it roll uh, along with the waves till it get settled be focused on uh, what you need and uh, be kind to everyone and uh, it's easy to uh, show anger to your subordinates but not to your boss similarly it's easy to show anger to to your family members and uh, for un, for uh, all the uh, blame reasons you know uh, so show them uh, both uh, face of yours be kind to them not only to your boss where you can uh, hide your anger though though it's a genuine way where uh, it deserves you can show anger to him still you keep it yourself because uh, you need a hike from him you need his recognition similarly in your home uh, be kind to your parents to your kids though they they are a kind of subordinate to you still don't take the dominancy uh, be kind to them show love and be good do good thank you for the opportunity to us master sir yeah thank you thank you so much toast master gandhi next i would like to call from offline next set of topics is going to be i i i have a bag here in that bag i have some products some beautiful products worth selling so i will give you the bag you have to select one product and uh, you have to sell the product so i would like to call our general evaluator toastmaster jimmy for the first so toastmaster jimmy close your eyes yeah you can select one i hope nothing bites good open it show show it to the camera it's a broken specs broken specs you have to sell this to the audience over to you toast master jimmy great i'm sure the marketer is desperate here it's a broken specs he has given me to sell so very good evening dear toast masters and guests have you all watched the movie basha did you see the specs that rajinikanth is wearing it doesn't have the legs and see the style statement he made and has ever been a uh, specs without legs marketed not it we realize that demand and we are sure that it suits many of your attitude so i would request you to try out this this is a very beautiful specs a uh, good quality specs with no legs so are you ready to don the role of basha with this new specs it's not very expensive but then it is a rajinikanth style and it comes with a price so any any takers for this can i put this on auction i know a lot of people are showing demand i can see it from the face so can i put it on auction yeah the basha specs 100 rupees first call 1 rupee 300 rupees first call second call any more any more takers for this gandhi babu what is your call yeah 500 500 be louder be louder it's in high demand 500 rupees 500 rupees yes the value of the specs is nearing grab it soon 
Any takers for this 500 rupees? First call, second call, third call. Sold. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. <laughs> Thank you so much, Toastmaster Jimmy. 500 rupees at the end, I will be collecting. Thank you. <laughs> Next, I would like to call Toastmaster Karthik. So now it's not going to be a sales. Karthik, you have to close your eyes. Uh, you have to touch the object. You have to feel what it is. I, you won't see the object. And you have to talk about the object. And at the end, I will show what it is to everyone. And they have to find what it is. Right? So close your eyes. Touch. There are many objects. Touch one. And decide one. Yeah, good. You can drop down. I have seen. Ready? Okay. Good evening, fellow Toastmaster and guest. So the object which I touched is available with everyone. So it is not belongs to something have a discrimination. Even child have it, even male, female, in marrying to the peoples, everyone have this. And this will not wait for us. Always, it runs on its own pattern. We have to stick with it. If we never stick with it, it will not wait for us. And we will lose our lives for it. So you have to always be calculative in whatever things you are doing in your life. So this will help you and support you. Sometimes it may guide you to take you to the next level when you stick with it. But when you don't listen or when you don't respect this, this will not wait for you. It will the, always helpful for the people who's respecting the product. So that's all, sir. Thank you. Over to you. So guest, any or any Toastmaster guest? Yeah, good. Yeah, thank you. It's starting for the clock. Thank you. Well done. Any guest who want to would like to volunteer? Any guest? Big round of applause. You can close your eyes. Choose one. That's it, feel it. You understand what it is? <laughs> it's okay. You have shown to the camera. Great. Oh, you can open your eyes. Everyone see it? Great. So you have to, this is a watch. It's a broken watch. You can see. You have to sell this watch. I have somehow searched after a long time. I have got that watch for you. Over to you. Your name? Amruta. Amruta. Guest Amruta. Uh, hi, good evening, fellow Toastmasters and friends. So uh, I know everyone needs a watch. Like everyone would ask this first question, why do we need a watch? Because we have mobile, we have uh, smart uh, watches, we have that, this. We can, you, we can see the time in that way. But then why do we need a watch? Watch is something that is very necessary. In not all the cases, we are not going to use our phones, be it in some, uh, what is that, in business meetings or you are going for some... Uh, very formal occasions. I think uh, watches are very much necessary to show our elegance, to show our uh, uh, the style statement. I think watch is very much necessary. So I know this is a broken watch, but then I I would really think that boys would really fantasize this. Why not you try to make a go by seeing this? I think black is also something different. Everyone likes black. Like uh, what is that? Uh, Beat. Like we can see many attractive things in black. We can see coats in black. We can see some animals in black. We can like there is some attractive statement. And I think the watch is also, even though it's broken, it looks attractive. So, like 
anyone willing to buy you can even keep it in your wardrobe it, it would be a very emotional thing if you keep this at least if not if, if not you are wearing also anyone would like to buy no at least you should give some 700 or something yeah yeah some it, it would become very emotional if you are getting this like your friends would be very uh, attracted to that like you are keeping it in your wardrobe if it's something like that no one is willing to buy okay first round second anyone is willing to buy yeah you, <laughs> you can keep it in your wardrobe everyone will like this <laughs> Next, I would like to call Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayan. Sir, uh, you should not uh, take that object out. You should touch the object. You should feel the object, and you should tell what the object is. Audience will guess. Right? You can close your eyes. You should not see it. There are three objects. Anyone? Yeah, I have seen. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank, you. thank you, table topic master. Uh, Green plus masters and guests. The object which I touched just now, I've been in touch with it for a long time. I'm almost 40 plus years, right from our LKG. We'll be touching this for all. We, we, we need to use this for our improvement as such. Uh, whatever he, uh, wherever you are. So I, let me put it this way. When I was in a school, they say, if you finish your 10th standard, you'll be settled in life, but doesn't stop there. Then again, when it came to plus two, they said, if you complete your plus two, that's the critical part of a life. You can settle in your life, but it didn't end there. And again, as I entered the college, they said, just complete four years in your college and you'll be settled. I thought, yeah, what they said is right. But after completing my college, I had to look for a job. The best part is when I started working in a job, I realized that that particular part doesn't stop. I need to always use it in my life because till date, we have to use it. Otherwise, I can't be up to date in whatever it is. I don't know what is happening around. And also, it is more enriching. It gives me a lot of knowledge as I keep using it. And I can keep writing it as well. I don't know, by this time, you could have guessed what I'm talking about. Yes, I think you saw it. So the answer is notebook. Diary. diary. It's a diary. OK. The re what I was mentioning is about the books in general, because uh, uh, study doesn't stop. I was keep telling, I was keep advise that you can finish your studies of your college and schools and all, but it doesn't stop. Even now, I have to keep studying. Uh, uh, to continue my job as well and to learn new skills. So, thank you, uh, Table Topic Master. And I think now he's coming out with a new innovative idea. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for beautifully explaining about that diary. Next set of is now time for us to enter into the next set of topics. So, for the next three topics, I'm going to show, not show, uh, I will put an audio. You have to observe that audio and uh, you have to talk what that audio, you, what do you feel about that audio? So for this, I would like to call DTM Veno Nilagandan. Yes, sir. Sir, ready? Yeah. Sir, you are on mute. No, I am ready. Sir, ready? Yeah, I can hear you. I am ready. So here it is.
Thank you. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Sarath. Good evening. And uh, many of the online participants, they are still confused, <laughs> like me, what actually the audio is. Don't worry, we are just masters. We can talk anything, everything. So here, what I heard, some noise. After that, some silence. I don't know what in-person person, I mean, participants heard, actually. So here, what I learned from this particular audio is, in life, we are making a lot of noise, unnecessarily. Sometimes we are making, we are creating kind of chaos and we are, with a small senses, we started shouting. Just like in GMT vessels, we are making a lot of noises, unnecessary noises. But after reaching a level, we started learning that, see, those noises are not necessary. Sometimes you have to keep, you, have, you need not prove yourself to everybody what you are, who you are, how to maintain the silence. Sometimes some people may shout at you, sometimes you have to um, be, be, to be silent. Particularly when I was uh, learning karate, the initial stage, we started shouting at Chai! At the blue belt and blow, uh, yellow belt, orange belt, we used to shout like that. We just like as we are the, uh, uh, some kind of uh, red belt. But later stage, we understand that this is the maturity means you need not prove every time that who you are, who can, what you are. So better to be silent. So but you can understand your words. You need not shout. You need not uh, make it such a noise. So better to be silent and the world will understand who you are through your silence. Just like the Buddha, or just like the Jesus or a lot of the Mahatmas, they never ever make unnecessary noise until and unless there is a necessity. So I learned that let us keep silent. Let our accent speak, not our mouth always. Thank you for the opportunity. Back to you. Thank you so much, distinguished Toastmaster Venu Nilagandan, for your kind information. That sound was sound of lop of a child. It became a noise, but you, you are really well done with that. Thank you so much. For the next sound, next audio, any volunteers from online? Any guests? I hope it will not be a noise. Yeah, I call Punit, those master Punit. Sure. Well, today I don't want to take a table topic, but you are forcing me, so I can never say no to a good friend. And after listening to Neil Venu, sir, I'm all pumped up now. <laughs> yeah. So Punit, here is your audio. Punit, before that, uh, do you watch Tamil movie? Occasionally, last movie which I watched was Vikram, which I loved it. Then totally. fine, I will go back. Yeah. Here it is. Up so. Punit, can you hear? Can you repeat again? Because I am as clueless as many of the people in the audience. And I'm pretty sure Venu sir, I now understand how Venu sir was in what situation. <laughs> <laughs> One second. Yeah, I will keep the mic. Yes, Punit, over to you. Okay.
these beautiful sounds reminded me of the time when i first started learning keyboard hello everyone i was a studious student right from my school days you see my favorite past time was watching tom and jerry pokemon and dragon ball z apart from studies but do you know who was the most dangerous person in my family my mother now my mother is a curious mother she is completely opposite of my father now my father was a person who always insisted me to study 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 so that your ranks gets ready and i was always in top 3 of my class whereas my mother on the other hand would always insist to go and carry out extra curricular activities because she always believed that marks is good for some time but for the overall well development one has to experience different things in life and for which it took me a lot of time to realize and my mother being a very monster demanding mother forced me to join keyboard classes initially i was very hesitant i was reluctant after all nobody learns when they are pressured to do nobody learns when they are demanded to do something whereas my mother on the other hand she wanted me to learn keyboard and as i slowly started learning a bit of keyboard there i must say i really enjoyed learning from my master and the best part of all was playing janagana mana and and even composing happy birthday to you so when i listen to these beautiful sound which uh, toastmaster sharath has shared with all of us those profound music which were so simple so subtle reminded me of the lessons which i learned nearly 15 years back it also reminded me of my own mother who forced me to go out of my comfort zone friends we all have such persons in our life who force us so that we can be the best version of ourselves and they can help us by making us uncomfortable and so these music this music sound reminded me of my mother who forced me to get up, out of my comfort zone and i can say i can fairly play a little bit of keyboard but having said that it was an amazing song to listen to and thank you so much toastmaster sharat thank you so much punit for beautifully attempting the topic and wonderfully explaining your experience for the last audio i i would like to call toastmaster satish Toastmaster Satish, your audio. It's a it's a movie, movie song related to the theme theme of the day. It's a Tamil movie with actor Vijay. Over to you, Toastmaster Satish. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Sarath. Okay. Uh, once again, very good evening to all. Uh, this movie, uh, it's a Kathi. Sorry, Talaiwa. Yeah. So where the the friends uh, she uh, she they came for uh, some uh, function. that in that movie so they form a team like a uh, friends now uh, eight some 12 members they separated a team and two for uh, they uh, you know the, they have uh, what do you call that 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 terrorist they have attacked the terrorist so th this based on the friendship so this this the friendship day so the we have we have to even whatever it is we have to form a group without group we can't do anything so like that uh, so not only that in uh, any project or any be it in a company or in a home or in a play or in a organization we have to form a team and we have to separate uh, team members and we have to allot the assignment to all of the team and we have to co be a uh, big coordinate and we have to achieve that much like that today we have a session uh, to evaluate our uh, uh, chennai toastmasters club so for that uh, next session we will have that so we will allocate the team uh, to get back your feedback and, and that We, thereafter we will uh, take the so uh, uh, task for task for thank you thank you so much satish 
for that term. Thank you so much. Next, ma'am, would you like to volunteer? Yeah, normal topic. Your name? Uh, Salma. Salma. Guess Salma. Yes. Your topic is your favorite leader. Mm. Your favorite leader, guess Salma. Favorite leader. My favorite leader is uh, Gurini Yevriman. I'm Salma. I'm from Chennai. I have done my master's in uh, biochemistry and beard in license. I was in Dubai for almost 13 years. Recently, I moved to Chennai five years before. Uh, my hubby is still working in Dubai. I have two kids. Uh, both are studying in school. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, my favorite leader is uh, Dr. A.G. Abdul Kalam. Uh, he's a president of our, he's the ex-president of our uh, India. Um, it's a very sad part. He's not with us. But always his words remembers uh, us a lot. Um, uh, what else is there? Sorry, I'm a little nervous today. <laughs> it's my first day. Um, yeah. Continue. Uh, there are so many wording uh, I remember. Uh, I wrote it in my book also. Shall I see the book and tell? Um, uh, what to say that? Sorry. Dreams. Um, just if I see that, I can know it. Huh? Uh, we, always, we always have to chase our dreams. Because um, see, uh, the, if we sleep, it doesn't matter uh, if we are sleeping. But uh, we have to chase our dreams. That is the main thing he has told. So mm, he always, always given importance for this education. Uh, students uh, who, who want to achieve that. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Any hopes? Try. Thank you so much, everyone. With this, we come to the end of the TT session. I request a timer to call the names of qualified TT speakers for the purpose of voting. Uh, I all members are qualified, but all the speakers are qualified. So, okay, thank you. So with this, I hand over the stage to our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Guru Ayurab. It was a wonderful and innovative table topic section, Toastmaster Sarath. So now it is time for us to move to the most important part of Toastmaster segment, that is lifeline segment. For that, I introduce uh, already introduced the general evaluator. So now in my general evaluator, Toastmaster Jimmy Patos to conduct the session. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster of the day. Uh, quickly, uh, we will move on to the evaluation of the day. First, uh, to evaluate the speech of uh, Toastmaster Naveen, I invite uh, his evaluator, uh, Toastmaster Abhilash. Over to you, Toastmaster Abhilash. Thank you so much, Mr. General Evaluator. Once again, a very warm good evening, fellow Toastmasters, and a warm good evening to my target speaker, Toastmaster Naveen. Toastmaster Naveen, I'm going to divide my evaluation into two parts right now. So the first one is going to be the evaluation of your specific objectives and the second one is a general evaluation. So let me first quickly start off with your specific objective. Toastmaster Naveen, the objective of your speech today was twofold. One, to define how Toastmasters envisions mentoring and the second one, to share an experience. So in this, the first objective, how Toastmaster envisions mentoring, I believe you've achieved it beautifully in the way you portrayed your speech, how you started off with what a mentor does in everything. But when it comes to the second objective of sharing one particular experience of your, yourself as a protege, I feel you shared a lot about your general mentor mentee things, but there was no specific single experience where you showed how your mentor has helped you. You talked a lot generally, but I was looking for some specific instances as to one particular speech or any particular event, how she has helped you organize or do things. But 
I felt that was a little wanting. So the second objective was perhaps a little incomplete. Now, let me go to the general evaluation portion. The first thing that I really loved about your speech was, they generally say that a good speech starts with either a quote or a story or humor. But today you started off your story with a, your speech with a quote and a story of that selfless man. So I love the way you started your speech. The second thing was, I really appreciate the way you brought in a story to tell us how the mentoring process works. So kudos on that. Well done. The second thing that I wanted to comment you on, but I also put this in the recommendation part is your title. Your title excited me a lot. And that, but unfortunately that excitement still remains. I could not connect your title and the speech that you gave to me. I have just one recommendation for you. So when you started off, your hands were like this at your back. That is a very, what do I say? A very close gesture. It is a very important mistake that we should not commit. Always go out with open gestures, especially when you put your hands behind. It talks that perhaps you're a little low on confidence. And that will be my second recommendation also. A little more practice is definitely needed. This appeared a little last minute. I want you to ensure that you practice and prepare well. So to sum up, Toastmaster Naveen, you achieved one objective perfectly and the second objective was a little incomplete. With regards to your speech, I loved your introduction and the story that you presented. But please ensure you have open gestures and please have a little more preparation and I'm sure your speech is going to go places. That's it from my end and back to you, Mr. General Evaluator. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster Abhilash. Uh, Next, uh, we will move on to our uh, tag report. First, I'll uh, call upon the timer, uh, Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana, to, to submit his report. Over to you, Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana. Thank you once again. So, I'm not going to share anything. I'm just going to read out from this uh, report which I collected now. So, good evening uh, uh, once again. Uh, to begin with the Toastmaster of the Day address, it started with uh, Guru Ayurveda's Guru Ayurveda who took 1 minute 45 seconds. And then the Quote Master took 3 minutes 56 seconds. And Idiom Master took 1 minute uh, 46 seconds. Coming to the prepared speech section, we had one prepared speaker. Uh, so, uh, speaker Toastmaster Navin took uh, 5 minutes 20 seconds. And to evaluate Toastmaster Navin, I'm telling that evaluator now isn't. Uh, Toastmaster Abulash took 3 minutes 15 seconds to evaluate. And the, uh, coming to uh, table topics uh, speakers, uh, uh, Toastmaster uh, Renuka took 1 minute 5 seconds, Toastmaster Abhilash took 2 minute 12 seconds, Toastmaster Gandhi took 1 minute 32 seconds, Toastmaster Jimmy took 1 minute 58 seconds, guest Karthik took 1 minute 7 seconds, uh, guest Amrita took 2 minute 10 seconds, myself, I took 2, two, two minutes, thanks Navin for noting it down. Uh, DTM Venu took 2 minutes 20 seconds and so also Toastmaster Puri took 2 minutes 20 seconds. And Toastmaster Satish took 1 minute 22 seconds and guest Salma took 1 minute 30 seconds. Uh, with that, my uh, timer report ends and handing over the control back to you, Jim. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana. Next, I would like to invite our, uh, our counter, Toastmaster Gandhi Babu, to please submit his report. Over to you, Toastmaster Gandhi. Thank you, Toastmaster. I just shared my screen, if you could see my screen. Uh, the meeting well started by Toastmaster Palanisamy without any uh, filler words or sounds or any parts. And then uh, Lakshmi Narana, the preceding officer, started with one uh, single pass. And then the steam engine uh, started getting its momentum and uh, it started with uh, uh, Toastmaster uh, Satish Kumar uh, while providing uh, the sec secretary report. He used one um, and one uh, Toastmaster Gurva European, the Toastmaster of the day, used uh, two uh, and three plus uh, so. Toastmaster Jimmy, the general evaluator, three plus uh, so two times. And Toastmaster uh, Rajalakshmi, the quote master, used uh, one uh, three plus so and three plus flags. Toastmaster Shruti uh, used just one ha, huh? and uh, Toastmaster Lakshmi Narana while briefing timer wrote, 
uh, he paused for a, a second, couple of seconds. And Toastmaster Palani Swami, as a grammarian, uh, he used actually twice. And uh, Gandhi, our counter, I guess I used uh, more than once. I couldn't uh, count myself. And uh, the prepared speaker, Navin Raj, used because three plus. I would uh, strongly advise him to have a tab on this because uh, next time he uh, gives any speech. And so was again three plus and I'm on once. And the table topics. First, Master Sarat took, I mean, uh, used so three plus and our once. Toastmaster Renuga used three plus so no once. And Toastmaster Abhilash, uh, three plus uh, so and you know once. And uh, Gandhi used uh, so uh, twice and and twice. Jimmy, uh, Toastmaster Jimmy uh, used so two and and once. And Toastmaster Karthik, so three times. And Amrita, the guest, used so three plus. Toastmaster Lakshmi Narana during table topic used so twice. Puneet, uh, during table topic, uh, used uh, you see, you know, and and twice. Toastmaster Satish uh, used see that that thrice. And guest Salma used ah twice, um once, okay once, yeah once. And Toastmaster Abhilash, uh, during evaluation, uh, he used uh, soap uh, for four times. And uh, in a nutshell, uh, we used uh, around 145 filler words today. And the major concern is with the because and so. So is the one that we use quite frequently. I would uh, encourage everyone to uh, have a tab on it and uh, minimize the use of so. Thank you, and over to you, Toastmaster Jimmy. Thank you very much. Uh... Toastmaster Gandhi. Uh, we will move on to the grammarian report. I invite uh, Toastmaster Palani Swami, the grammarian of the day, to submit your report, please. Over to you, Toastmaster Palani Swami. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, General Evaluator. The word of the day was used four times by Toastmaster Guruvar European and by General Evaluator. He used once. So these are the two people who use the word of the day. Some of the, the usage which need improvement, needed people, instead we can use people who are needy. And there are some places uh, he have was used instead, he has. So that should be corrected. then study should not stop. Instead, we can use, we should not stop learning. So these are all suggestions. And there are some nice usages. A true leader success is how successful his team is. The words enriching, studious student, style statement. So these are all uh, good usages. Let us, let us our action speak. So, so overall, I would say that in the grammatical part, we, we have to give attention. Thank you and over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster Palani Swami. Now I'll move on to my uh, General Evaluation Report. Uh, so uh, the meeting uh, started on time. Kudos to all the organizers and the attendees. All the role players were present on time. And uh, one request, let's avoid any last minute changes on the roles committed. Uh, overall, uh, the sessions and its transitions were smooth and perfect. Kudos to all the role players and the organizers. Uh, a recommendation that the guest video also should be on while you are getting introduced. And uh, the person calling upon the guest kindly kindly ensure that uh, the guests are putting their video on. Appreciate uh, the minutes of the last meeting and the efforts to improve on the G suggestions from the last meeting. Uh, the camera positioning and the clarity at physical venue was good today. Uh, the role players uh, uh, have to be aware of their allocated timings. Uh, 
uh, we maintain that it can exceed to few seconds to conclude your speech, but it should not go overboard. So please, please uh, take care of that aspect. I appreciate the variety and energy levels at the TT session. Kudos to our TT master. Uh, please ensure quick response when called upon uh, by the TT master. Uh, I was referring to the delays when called upon uh, by the TT master. Uh, please, please uh, ensure that we are responding fast. And uh, as we have uh, been advised and learned from our seniors, uh, senior distinguished Toastmasters, the salutations in Toastmasters, it can only be Toastmasters or distinguished Toastmasters. Let's try and avoid the sir and madam in, in, in Toastmasters. Uh, that ends my report and thank you very much. Uh, over to Toastmaster of the day. Thank you very much, General Evaluator, for a wonderful evaluation of the meeting. So now we are in the conclusion part of the today's meeting. So now it is time for us to vote for the, for the benefit of guests, we have to vote for the best tag team, that is Timer, Counter, and Grammarian, who you think has performed well, you have to vote for them. I will read out the names of uh, tag team member. Timer is Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana, Our Counter is Toastmaster Gandhi Babu, Grammarian is Toastmaster Paini Sami. Hey, who you think is best uh, performed well, so you vote for them. Now coming to the best role player. Role player consists of three things. That is Toastmaster of the day, TT master, and a general evaluator. Toastmaster of the day is myself, Toastmaster Guru Ayrapan. So, table topic master is Toastmaster Sharad. And general evaluator is Toastmaster Jimmy, Aprosh, Jimmy Patros. And best of QID, quote, idiom master, is Toastmaster Raja Lakshmi for Quote Master and Idiom Master is Toastmaster Shruti. And best TT speaker, speaker's name is speaker, TT speaker. Uh, best table topic speaker uh, for the participants Toastmaster Renuka, Toastmaster Abhilash, Toastmaster Gandhi, Toastmaster Karthik, guest Amruta, Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana, distinguished Toastmaster Venu Nilagandan, Toastmaster Punit, Toastmaster Satis. Thank you, Naveen, for that wonderful. So now, Everyone would have voted for the best table topic speaker, role player, tag, and other things. With this, now I come with this segment, all the segments comes to an end. And now hand over control to president to presiding office of the day, Toastmaster Rakshmi Narayan. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. It was a wonderful meeting. Uh, many of you might wonder why you are coming to a close so uh, quick, because this is going to be a two hours meeting, but we are just uh, 5, uh, 5, 5.30 now. Uh, the reason is we are have, going to have a, a MOT sessions. Uh, maybe uh, I'll just give a overview about the MOTs, what, it is, uh, what is MOT, and uh, then we'll proceed on. So we'll, we'll announce the results later. Okay, uh, let me start with an example. Like a MOT we call as Moments of Truth uh, in any Toastmaster International. Uh, maybe I just want to give with an example like what I understood from this MOT is first. Say, suppose if you are going to meet a girl, get married. So, this is a step we have to do. So, like, first thing when you meet her, there should be an impression. There should be a positive impression of her. Only then you will say, yeah, you like her or not. It could be arranged marriage or a uh, uh, marriage, whatever it is. The first time when you look at her, the first impression has to be a positive impression for you. Then you proceed further. 
the next meeting should have should make another impression for you so which can convinces you to continue with the relationship it may go until marriage there are such certain moments in your life which gives you a lot of impressions and positive impressions uh, in you so this goes on this need not be only until marriage it just happen even after marriage there are many times you need to keep impressing people uh, to to make sure they made the right choice uh, similarly uh, in toastmasters we have certain moments where we get an impression about this club to most of us whether we made the right choice whether we in the right club there are many clubs in this city how do we know whether we in the right club so there are certain moments in this club which gives an impression the past that impression should give a positive uh, uh, impression uh, that moment should give a positive impression to the people uh, who are in this club and to do that we have uh, the toastmasters international as categorized into six different moments where we know where we can evaluate the impressions the positive vibes we are having in this club so that is what we call those moments we call as moments of truth that moments of truth is the one which actually tells you whether you make the right choice or not so what we are going to do now is to take those moments and evaluate ourselves whether we are in the right club uh, let me put in a very simple example today we had a prepared speech now uh, by navi so that prepared speech he needs to evaluate his performance so whether it is gone right or wrong so he had four parameters to evaluate one is the tacting he knows whether he finished on time the timer the last the hours and amps he used and the grammarian report and very importantly the evaluator's feedback is going to help him to evaluate his the quality of the speech so that he can improve the quality whatever good he got he will continue whatever improvements he suggestions he got he has to improve in his next speech similarly today our toastmaster jimmy is the general evaluator who is evaluating the quality of the meeting today's meeting alone right from the beginning to the end he has given a report what has to be improved for example he said no no mention about sir and madam in this meeting so this is all the points of improvement so that we can improve in the next meeting so we see the quality of a person quality of the meeting but how do we measure the quality of the club as such so that is what this moments of truth are so as i mentioned we have six different moments to assess ourselves and each moments as a standards to question there are still be set of questions i'll be sharing the report uh, for online let me read out those moments first uh, so that you get an idea i mean there are six okay the first the three uh, the, there are total six moments of truth i mentioned the first one is going to be first impressions there, there will be uh, and then the second one is membership orientation third one is fellowship variety and communication i'll be sharing this with you very soon fourth one is program planning and meeting organization the fifth is the membership strength and the last one is the achievement and recognition these are the six moments we are going to evaluate and there are certain standards to it to evaluate so what you will do is i'll i'll share with you there are each moments of truth as five to six questions which is the standards we follow and we each on uh, we will be forming a two team uh, totally three teams each one have two uh, moments of truth to be discussed what i'm going to do now is like we'll form two teams here i'll announce the team uh, very soon so here in physical meeting we'll have two teams we'll be evaluating four moments of truth and people in online will be evaluating two sets of moments of truth the fifth and sixth so what will happen is these moments of truth are standards uh, uh, mentioned there and we have to rate the standards from 1 to 5 scale okay for example let me give an example of the first impression the first impression is the first moments of truth the first question is guest greeted warmly and introduced to officers and members so maybe uh, when you form a team if you are part of that team you can voice out you say whether it went well or not we can rate from 1 to 5 scale so what you do is if it is above 3 4 and 5 yeah we say we think we are going in the right direction so we don't want to make any changes so our, our impression is very good we have a positive impression on the club if something is rating from 3 to below 3 maybe we need your inputs and suggestions on what we can do to improve the quality of such 
uh, that particular uh, moments of truth, the particular standards. How do we improve that particular standards? So I will I will share this sheet with you. With you, you can come out. You form a team. So I'll announce the team. Uh, I'm going to announce the team now. Okay. Uh, let me announce it. The first two, uh, uh, the first impressions I mentioned, right? So the reason I'm asking guests here is you, you are the right people to give the most uh, right feedback because these impressions are not just for uh, members alone. The members, the prospective members, and the guests, like guests, and the members, the new members as well. So all are involved in it. So we, the inputs are very, very uh, important for us to improve the quality of the club overall. So let me read out like out of the six one, the first impressions and the second one is uh, uh, membership orientation. These two moments of truth has to be, we form a team where there will be a facilitator and a coordinator. Okay. The coordinator is the one who is going to lead it, will help in discussion and form a, you can either form a leader out of it, if someone can ask someone to speak out of it, or you just note on the inputs of it. So the first one, the coordinator is going to be Jimmy uh, for a first impression and, and membership orientation. And the facilitator is going to be Navin. Navin is from XCOM. So Navin will just observe. If there is any clarification he might wise out, but he'll just be an observer. So to make sure the MOT is going the right way. So I, I can, I'll, I'll give you this sheet again. For the second and the third and fourth, the fellowship variety and communication and program planning and meeting organization. For these two, uh, I, I request Toastmaster Guru Arapan to be the co coordinator and uh, Toastmaster Sarath as the facilitator who is going to ensure it's going the smooth way. So these two are going to be in the, in the physical location. And the last two moments of truth, the membership strength and achievement recognition. Uh, so our distinguished Toastmaster Venu Nilagandan is going to be the coordinator through online. And uh, Toastmaster Pali Sami will be the facilitator to make sure it's going smoothly. Uh, I hope I, I convey, I divided the group the right way. And uh, I don't think we need a breakout session now because online, online uh, members are there already. Uh, there is no separate uh, uh, meeting, uh, in separate groups are there. There's only one group in the online who are going to help in uh, evaluating this. Uh, fifth and sixth part of the MOT, the membership strength and achievement recognition. And one thing I need to mention you is that uh, uh, we are going to do 15 minutes time. So um, uh, for two moments of truth to be evaluated, I hope that is sufficient. We used to have that sufficient 15 minutes. Ago. So we're going to have a 15, uh, 15 minutes time. So we'll start the timer. We'll mention you to the online people also when, it, uh, uh, when it's about uh, 13 minutes once green. 14 minutes yellow and 15 minutes red. So that uh, once the discussion is over, uh, we'll come out, we'll again, I'll come back here again. So that time uh, I, I want um, uh, one representative from each uh, MOT part to come and explain the ratings. And if it is below three, you can come out and give your suggestions. So this is going to be very variable, valuable input for us. We will note on those inputs. We'll try to see how much we can improve the quality of the uh, club as such. So I think I'm clear on it. Is there any questions? Let's me. Are you going to share that uh, questions? Have you already shared with anybody? Uh, okay, I, I shared it in WhatsApp. So I have the printout here uh, have to be shared with people physical. Can you share it in the? Yeah, uh, I shared it in uh, group uh, official group already, so I'll resend again. No, no, so can you share it in the chat so that okay. we can discuss their points? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, one minute. I'll share it. I will share it, sir. So, our chat will facilitate share. Now. Uh, I'll, I'll request uh, our Toastmaster Palani Sami, who is going to facilitate the, the last two, to share that uh, video. Yeah, I will share it, sir.
uh, maybe you can give me uh, two minutes time as a break so i want to uh, share this sheets with the people so we are not in a hurry i'll let you know once we are going to start okay until that i just share the sheet and form a team okay okay already shared okay Sami, sir, you want me to share? Kavilash, you already shared. It's fine. Yeah. No, no, no. We have to share the screen no, so that everyone ah, okay. can see. Yeah, okay. Good evening, uh, like, yeah, we formed a team here. We had a two different rooms and we moved this uh, guest Shanti to his master's order room. I think we can start this uh, Moments of Truth session from now. I will I'll come back after 12 minutes. Yes, just one minute. Shall we start? Yes, sir. We can start. Yes, for others, those who are joining and those who are new, let me explain. This is the first one is the membership strength. There would be, there are around six questions. We have to answer, we have to, uh, out of uh, one to five, we have to um, uh, put one to five, whatever we are based on the uh, our opinion, we have to mark. If it is below three, uh, we need to give justification for that, why it is below three. And uh, after that, we have to submit that report to the audience. So first, let's go for the membership strength. Uh, for the membership strength, the first question is, uh, club has 20 or more members, right? So it's five, without any doubt, we have more than 20. So I hope all agree. So we can put it five. And for Palin um, can you please make a mark so that otherwise let me also do that. Uh, 
Yes. And next question is members are retained. Uh, here we have to discuss. Anyone wants to comment this particular questions? Members are retained. We are getting more members, but whether we are retaining the members. Abilas, you can also comment. How much we can mark out of five? It's so open here. You can give your own. So you see, yeah, there's no restriction. This is a uh, right platform. Here you can express your opinion without any restriction. So that we can understand real position of the club. This is the moment of truth. So we have to find that truth. Retention has been a little problem for us. Okay. We need to find ways to retain members. So adding members has never been a problem. But retention, yeah. sometimes, yes, we do slip a little. Okay. I think uh, we have to, so it's my opinion, we have to ensure that whoever, the new members who come in, uh, they are adequately um, brought into the uh, club and uh, taking up roles so that we can have better retention. Yeah. For me, I'll give it three. Okay, three. Palnisam, would you like to comment? <coughs> so, actually, since, uh, you know, I've been to the club very recently, I, yeah, I, I don't know the, the previous, how the members are retained. Yeah. But as uh, Abhilash mentioned, the strength of the club seems to be a, nev never seems to be a problem. Yeah. But this particular point, though I don't know the background, uh, I was discussing with Naveen. Okay. Probably, you know, I think uh, the retention is a problematic area because in the, in the almost a near, for the past two years, it was an online meeting. Okay. Probably which made uh, most of the people either they are not regular or they are not really getting the value of the, the membership. But once, you know, since we started the physical meeting, uh, now the, the primary purpose is to bring the members to the physical venues. Because based on my uh, first speech, sir, I would say last week I given the icebreaker. I was so, so nervous, but when I was giving online, I'm cool. You know, I'm not at all feeling any nervousness. So I feel, you know, the, the real learning starts when they come to the physical venue and start experiencing it. Now we have to focus on bringing the members to the physical venue so that they will get the real value and in turn this will result in better member retention. Okay, so one solution, so we, uh, our duty is not only stating the problems, we have to give the solution. So as per your points, so one solution is uh, bringing the members to attend, uh, making them attend the uh, in-person meeting so that they can understand the value of Toastmaster. That's the one uh, solution. Other than that, or any other solution? Abhilas or Puneet, would you like to join? In general, way, not need not be a uh, CTM. Sure, sir. I think only when members are challenged and that's when they'll grow. And as rightly pointed out by Abhilash and Palani Swami, sir, somewhere down the line, I think mentor mentor relation also can play an important role. The friendship, the bonding, somewhere, what are we doing to address those challenges? In fact, uh, how are the goals of the members being met? Are they being challenged to pursue their goals? Is the mentor mentor relationship strong enough so that they, they feel genuine connection and uh, coming out and experimenting? Like there are very few people like, uh, even CTM has very good legendary crowd. Legendary means not very old. I mean, like Venus or you and uh, Nina, ma'am, Abhilash. The reason why, because you're internally driven. Now, how can we ensure that the new members also try that out? I think these are certain few questions. One, how are they, we, how are they going to be challenged? Number two, are we creating a right atmosphere by creating a, what you can call it, a strong mentor-mentor relationship wherein they express their goals, their challenges, wherein we are creating an environment. I think that is when, it's only when people are challenged is when they'll grow. And when they grow, that is how we'll come to know the value of postmasters. And I think how I think that is what I wanted to add. Thank you. 
So we can go for three. You, if you all agree with that. Even two point five or two would also not be. Okay. Three. Three. Yeah, so because last time we got the eight eighty awards. That's the only thing I. Then, I yeah. Sorry, sorry, sir. I was not aware about the where. Oh no problem. No problem. So next question is promotion of clubs of the uh, in the community or within its organization. So we are not doing anything particular, particularly specifically about this uh, or anything. See, we are conducting spacecraft and all, but it's okay. But uh, we are not doing anything specifically promotion of club in the community. Generally, we are not doing. That's uh, uh, even though it's there, we are not doing in reality. So, anything would you like to come and bless? We have to track the time also. One thing is uh, for us uh, promotion of club. The need for us is a little less because anyway we keep adding new members. So probably that's one reason why we don't go out and promote. But apart from that, the general promotions on social media, weekly posts, and all those keep going out now, sir. Generally, yeah. There also I have some points here to share. Particularly, uh, let it be next uh, next <laughs> point we can cover. But here um, that uh, poster and flyers are restricted only to CTM clubs and uh, uh, only a few areas. Even I, I can't find any poster or flyer in district 120. Uh, they are not posting. That's uh, what I observe. So within yes. uh, CTM uh, website, or uh, we only we can't expect a lot of promotion. So we can post it in uh, district 120 uh, group or somewhere else also. I was so about to also, say that sir, we are not actually publicizing enough. Yeah, yeah. So how much uh, we can put? Three or four. Yes, we are doing something. Four. Okay. Four. Four. Okay. Um, <laughs> and others, you agree with that? We have to. When legends are saying uh, four, what can we small people can do? <laughs> it's not about legends. You can express your own opinion. No, you are right, sir. Venu, sir. In fact, I think CTM does lack in social media. I mean, WhatsApp is very active, like, but only yeah. to a very niche crowd. <laughs> Okay, so let's put it four. And next point, let me go. Uh, club programs, varied and exciting. Yeah. I think, uh, yes, sir. XCOM is trying to keep us engaged and they are conducting some event or the other. They are trying to ensure that every meeting is has something special. Mm -hmm. So, but sense, again, there is always room for improvement also. Yeah, so for me, four or five, not that is fine. Why, I, doing... I have a little bit hesitation to put five because why I'm saying that earlier we had some uh, game, exciting games session or something, which is uh, not only the agenda, game, uh, uh, joke master, a lot of uh, variety programs we had, sometimes in debate. So nowadays it's only the uh, <laughs> regular program, so we can put four instead of five. Yes, Malin, sir, would, you, would you like to comment or would you want to defer? Yeah, yes, sir. Four would be for because actually I was not supposed to give, recommend the rating. You know, this as as my role, I should not recommend the rating. If in case of a discussion, I can no, 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 can no, be part not, of the discussion. Uh, actually, see, you are a member. You are even though you are a scum member. You are also a member, so you have yeah. the right to say, sir, your own opinion. There's yes, sir. Wrong. Actually, I I would combine, you know, the, the reason which we mentioned that the members are retained. I think these are both are interlinked. Mm -hmm. Is it exciting and, uh, you know, uh, probably these two are interlinked. By okay. So by improving this quality, probably we can also improve the membership retention. Okay. We have another five one minutes only, sir. We need yeah, to okay. <laughs> another ten minutes. He mentioned ten minutes, right? No, no, he's mentioned ten minutes over. Oh yeah. right. So then let's move a little bit yeah. bigger. Yes, it's a four and next Toastmaster sponsoring new members recognized. Uh, that's a four. 
and here also see there is nothing called recognizing the toastmaster because they were no clubs are doing that they are getting um, you can uh, get a pin from toastmaster international if you spot um, sponsoring or uh, sponsoring five members or 10 members you will get a recognition other than that we are not giving any uh, kind of recognition from club level no clubs are doing so there also we can put three so because we that's a fact so if you agree we can move yeah next regular membership building program see this is all about the that uh, beat the clock and other things and all okay we are conducting speech craft so that's the main thing we can do it so anything else uh, we can i don't think that's not possible so we can put four if you all agree with that so you, you if you want to uh, command you can you are always welcome because i am rushing a little bit because of yeah, the yeah. timing yeah fine yeah four okay next let's move to the achievement recognition so that um <clears throat> see awards application immediately submitted to world headquarters so they are doing it right so we can give five yeah progress charts displayed and maintained i don't think so so three so recently so members achieve formally recognized with so many but i think we are recognizing what do you think ablas sir i lost you sorry the third question members achievements formally recognized with so many i think we are recognizing sir any level completions everything i think now the president is recognizing at the end of every meeting so we can okay okay i agree with you yes it is five five okay so club district and international leaders recognize yeah we are doing that five and club and member achievement publicized so it would be publicized not only in ctm or or some other platform we have where we can publish so we can put three or four it's two minutes only we have so yes we we have posters but we are not posting it on all social media yes, it is yes. getting yeah. so, since they are doing it probably i felt four is okay but they have to publicize better yeah yeah that's it also and next dcp points yeah i think they are doing it for club success plan and all so five so for each standard that is the three and lower best practice or discuss the following questions with the your term what's the cause of the challenge or what can be done at us so i think we discuss everything right anything else you want to add so am i going to submit this report sir yeah thank you thank you uh bilas uh, can you share when i do it this with the same uh, ranking means rating sure sir thank you abila you can continue singing because we have more minutes <laughs> we have a singer we have a keyboardist so we have a guy no we have a keyboard player Vinu sir, what happened, sir? I thought you'll be in physical venue today. Is there any challenge or rain or something? Abila told me it didn't rain afternoon. Mm -hmm. No, no. I, I, um, the, uh, today morning I attended another club. So I went uh, there and I gave a speech in person. <coughs> was it, was it? How was the new venue, sir? In DSF. Hmm. Um, it's not so good because the Wi-Fi problem is there. Oh. i think in the meeting is being recorded right oh yeah okay we'll talk later then <laughs> yeah <laughs> trip it we have to cut hi <laughs> so i didn't share. hello i hadn't shared the screen I, i i thought you were sharing the screen so we are done i think 15 minutes over right so are you done or do you need extra time we we completed thank you thank you and all the team here also is ready they they completed and maybe uh, okay let them come back to the
questions likely we had a multiple rooms here so people went to different rooms to have a discussion okay i think now it's time to uh, so we are done so uh, after a long time we are having mot session um, in a physical location and also it's hybrid as well uh, nice to see that and this place has so had some meeting rooms here so we were able to move people uh, to meeting room and have a real discussion i have to photo of it also i'll share with it and to uh, begin with the first thing i mean uh, uh, shall we start with the first so uh, maybe i request um is just must karthik right okay so toastmaster karthik will be coming here for the first two uh, moments of truth he will be coming and presenting the uh, report uh, so we'll have two minutes time <laughs> sorry to that to be here so we can finish up the speech with two minutes and uh, give you a summary what do you toastmaster so once again good evening to all so uh i will take a quick synopsis of what we have just gone through for the first impression so first i will go with the first point guest greeted warmly and introduced to our officers and members so we have been given a we usually let this standard uh five out of four and guest book and name name tags provided for that we have provide five out of one yep so professionally arranged meeting room five out of five and convenient meeting location 5 out of 5 guest invited to address the club 5 out of 5 guest invited to join 5 next i am moving towards membership orientation formal induction including presentation of membership pin and manuals 3 out of 5 assignment of mentor 5 out of 5 education programs and organization system discussed 3 out of 5 learning needs assessed 5 out of 5 discussed accommodation for members with disabilities 5 out of 5 speaking roles assigned 5 out of 5 members involved in all aspects of club activities 3 out of 5 so that's all thanks from me so over to you toastmaster lakshmi um excuse me you can give uh, reasons for coming to there is any suggestion recommendations for yep. uh yeah sure okay so i will go with first impression so guest books and name tags provided so i think it has not been provided so we have just given it as a one and next formal induction include being presentation of membership pin and manuals i think this has not been involved here so we have given three education program and organization systems discussed i think this was missed here so we have just given it as three and members involved in all aspects of club activities so this was not been there so for me it's completely new so yeah, yeah, yeah. i just given so that's all for my side thank you yeah, thank you uh thank you toastmaster karthik uh, these feedbacks are going to really help us so just don't uh, want to reiterate on uh, two things here uh, one is guest book and name tags provided yes uh, i do agree we, have, we haven't done that we're just moving from uh, online mode to a physical mode as we, uh, we have to work on it uh, myself and uh, we will work on it but we have to see how much we have to do that for uh, name tags now we still working on it so i yes i agree with that so it's uh, one rating is acceptable and then uh, formal induction including presentation whatever you mentioned yes we will work on it uh so we we are doing it on a, on a monthly basis or uh, uh, for a induction training because we are waiting for guests to i mean uh, members to join and as we had a number of guests we are doing it maybe i know uh, some are left out who are joined initially and then uh, waiting for two three weeks by the time you can take up a role also that is uh, acceptable we will find out a way to either we can have a uh, session bi weekly also uh, in that session So thank you so much for all this uh, inputs. We we really tried to do those things for our sessions we given. So with that, I'll move on to the next two sessions. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll invite uh, Toastmaster Guru to present this.
Thank you, Toastmaster Lakshmi Narayana. Our topics are fellowship, parity, and communication, uh, where we need to identify whether guests are greeted warmly and made welcome. Yes, so we'll rate it as five because uh, we are doing it properly. And enjoyable and educational meetings planned. Yes, we are, our rating is four. Regularly scheduled social events. Yes, uh, rating is four. Members participate in area, district, and international events. Yes, area is our rating is four. Inter club events encouraged. Our rating is four. Club newsletter slash website published and updated regularly. Our rating is three. We need to update our website. Even today, I found that the website gave me some not later, latest details. So website details needs to be published and updated regularly. So our rating is three. That is our suggestion. Now coming to fourth the program planning and meeting organization program and agenda publicized in advance we rated as uh, three because of that we are receiving advance uh, uh, agenda only on saturday or sunday morning so i think the members need to book the roles in advance so i think uh, they should work uh, they should pre-plan everything so with our rating is three our suggestion is to pre-plan and uh, circulate. Uh, VP is already circulated. I request members to nominate the names for the roles. Members know program responsibilities and are prepared to carry out all assignments. Uh, our rating is three because many of these are newcomers. In the last few, two to three months, we had seen many newcomers. So they may not be aware of uh, program responsibilities. So one educational session about ISCOM roles or responsibilities or meeting roles and responsibilities would help everyone to know about uh, what are about the missing segments and the uh, XCOM responsibilities. So our rating is three. So I request uh, XCOM to conduct one such education session on these things to so, uh, increase the knowledge about, uh, to increase, improve the awareness about those messages to the newcomers. All projects from Pratwes, yes, that is rating is five because we are not following any other things. Meetings begin end on time, uh, four, we are rating is four and creative table topics and activities, our rating is four, and our positive and helpful evaluations, our rating is four. These are overall our suggestions to ISCOM. Over to you. Thank you. Uh, so I uh, just want to quickly uh, understand that. So the club newsletter and website published, yes, uh, there is an issue and uh, we're trying to fix it. Uh, uh, to, um, Navin is working with this uh, past uh, uh, members, close for CTM members, because uh, I think uh, the web hosting website, has, uh, the account has got expired and we need to renew the site. Uh, yeah, they're still working on the passwords and the credentials. And then uh, we have to see who the, who the authorized person uh, who's handling those uh, hosting websites. So we're still working on it. So, so we don't have a end time to fill out, but we'll definitely bring back because that is the uh, face of uh, uh, China Toastmaster Club in the outside world. Whoever searches for Toastmaster Club, it goes to the website. So we'll try to fix it as up. So I agree with this uh, point. And the program agenda and publicized, yeah, uh, we all know. Uh, so we are trying to do it as much as real as possible. So uh, we still made it a practice to have a deadline, having a deadline by Wednesday to publish the agenda. But uh, for a lot of, lot of the last minute reasons, uh, uh, things we are not able to do it. But whatever it is, we think maybe we'll take it as a uh, goal to at least by publish it by Thursday. So, so we can make an amendment to the agenda later also, but we need to publish an agenda by Thursday. We'll take it as a positive feedback to improve our uh, quality. And also, uh, members know program responsibilities and prepare carry out all assignments that we will discuss in detail with VP and we'll uh, work on it as well. So now it's time to for uh, our uh, people in the online to uh, give this their MOT report for the membership strength and achievement recognition. Uh, I invite uh, one of the member to do the report. Yeah, good evening. Uh, I will do that. Um, first, we are going to take care of the membership strength. For that, the first question is club has 20 or more members for CTM, uh, has, uh, it is not a challenge. So we have five out of five. 
and members are retained. There we have only mark only three. Uh, even though we got as 880 awards last year, but still we can do it because most of the time many of the members are um, uh, new. We are getting more members, but at the same level we are losing. So we have to retain members. How we can do that? So we from the we discuss and we some suggestions yes. uh, some suggestions of a lot. Yeah, yeah. some suggestions like um, uh, bringing the members to attend a regular meeting, making them attend regular meetings so that they will get the benefit of the Toastmasters and the same manner and uh, creating the mentor mentees uh, bonding so that the mentor can uh, just track the progress of the mentee so that the, every member will get the benefit and value for Toastmasters that also we can do. So, uh, so we have to make in, in, in nutshell, we have to make the members to realize and uh, getting the value of uh, Toastmasters by the, doing that, uh, by providing variety programs and other useful program for them, we can retain the members. That's a suggestion we are providing. And promotions of clubs of the community or within, or within its organization, yes, we have to. Four and club programs very uh, varied and exciting. Yes, for Toastmasters sponsoring new members recognized. So this is a problem again. So in usually we don't do any clubs or not doing. Uh, TMA usually if you are uh, sponsoring five members, you will get a pin from TMA International. Even if you are sponsoring ten members, you will get another pin from TMA. Uh, apart from that club level, we are not doing that. So we can do it just like that e-commerce, we are getting some referral points and all like that. You can, uh, we can uh, recognize if any, any of our members bringing any guest, if we can successfully convert that guest to, to a member, so we can recognize the sponsor member, uh, that uh, suggestion and regular membership building programs. Yeah, we are doing through spacecraft and all, that's good. So next point is achievements and recognitions. Award application immediately submitted to World Headquarters. Yeah, that's uh, we, we put five. And progress chart displayed and maintained. Uh, yet we have to do it because most of the time we are not maintaining that track. For every each and every member, we have to maintain the track, at least in the Excel sheet, so that members can understand. And it, it will help the VP and mentors to uh, just to follow the, the particular uh, individual to complete the project and we can track whatever the uh, DCP points if we want, we can use this uh, chart for that. So I, we recommend, we suggest that you can maintain that. So next membership achievements formally recognized with so many. Yeah, we are doing that. And club district and international leaders recognized. Of course, we are doing five. Club and members achievement published here, yeah, we are putting four. And here one suggestion is, even though it's not uh, below three, so yet we are we like to suggest. Uh, most of the time we are publishing the flyers and the posters only in CTM groups. So we suggest to uh, publish in um, District 120 and other platform also, public forum also. So that's one suggestion. And DCP is used for planning and recognition. Yes, we are doing that. So this is from our side. Thank you for the opportunity. Back to you, the setting office. Uh, thank you, DTM Venu, uh, for a detailed summary. So I just quickly want to go with whatever you gave the uh, uh, three and below three. So it was only three, actually. So members retain that's, uh, yeah, from membership center, yes, we need to work on it uh, strongly. So I'll be working with uh, Mr. Sarath to do whatever to retain the members. So we need to find the way also. And uh, Toastmasters sponsor new members. Yes, we are not doing anything, we are particularly people to giving uh, sponsors. I know there is an option to sponsor, but we all consider them as new members, not giving the credit to the Toastmasters members. I think we need to consider it. So I'll take this as a point, definitely. And progress charts displayed and maintained for achievement recognition. That's where we have got uh, three as a point. Uh, maybe actually as a, a VP has a list of, uh, is an Excel spreadsheet where uh, he knows what he's doing. He, he's he actually rolled out also. Uh, thing, but uh, it's it's not a um, thing which is published anywhere. Maybe I'll work with him to publish uh, at least at least a read-only format of a thing. Maybe in a PDF format somewhere we can publish that uh, uh, progress chart because that is one way of motivating people. Like we know how many people have finished each levels, but it has not been publicized much. 
only we doing we, we give a poster recognition poster and we stop it people may read may not read may forget after that so if we, if we have a progress chart that will be helpful for us also uh, it's not a race but still we know how to move forward uh, so i think that those are the points we we, we have to improve on ourselves so i'll consider these as a, a really points of improvement and there's real uh, suggestions for the moments of truth for us to improve our uh, quality of this club and imp uh, improve more uh, a positive vibe within the club so thank you so much for taking up uh, your time and uh, being part of this mot moments of truth session and thank you all the guests over here for spending your time and waiting patiently and giving your feedback because you all know these inputs and feedbacks are really valuable to improve the quality of the club we will 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 take it all in a positive note we'll try to improve the club as much as possible because we've been doing it every six months that is there but we have to keep evaluating ourselves to know whether we're doing the right thing or not so with that we are coming and end, end, end of this moments of truth and thank you everyone who have participated in it thank you so much for your feedback and now we are coming to the uh, last part of the meeting we are running out of time uh, it's a time to announce the results i know there is no mr room yeah is there is time to uh, announce the uh, results so let me uh, first begin with uh, before announcing the result let me first call upon our sport master the first time our first master raja lakshmi and i appreciate you for taking up this role initially she has taken up this role for the first time and uh, she has done it very well thank you so much thank you. take care and and before announcing the results another announcement is like we need uh, we have uh, one level completion our toastmaster uh, navin has completed his level 2 congratulations navin okay so coming back to the uh, results the best role player today is uh, between the toast master of the day and the general level editor and the table topic master is obviously our table topic master toast master sarath so he is not here available right now he has left he has to go congratulations toast master sarath and best uh, between idiom master and the course uh, court master and, and the, uh, the jig role goes to uh, idiom master toast master shruti congratulations and she is not there as well and the between the, in the tag role between the timer accountant and the grammarian it goes to the uh, accountant to master gandhi and the since we have only one speaker we are not going for it so the best table topic speaker today is our distinguished toast master venu who picked up a sound and gave a speech for it thank you so much and i am holding this ribbon for you i will hand it hand it over to you when you can come here next time thank you so much so uh, the guests i know you're getting tired is there any feedback you want to share that's it Understand. No, that is the whole idea for table topic session. So you have to you have to speak in an unprepared situation. This what he gave is a prepared speech, and what he gave is an unprepared speech in a in a situation. We may get into such situation. That is the idea of this table topic session. And for guest introduction, yes, we had in the beginning, but we, uh, so we we start on time. So we have only one to two minutes time to introduce guests. So that is why we are getting your feedback. We you are we are definitely take your feedback. Uh, so uh, table topic session is for. <laughs> <laughs> and prepare speech okay you will enjoy this session thank you so much thank you okay. so with that uh, uh, we are coming to the end of this meeting i formally adjourn the meeting for the next week the same time uh, we are going down to have a tea and samosa so so since they are here shall we take a group photo okay uh, to adjourn the meeting we can uh, stop recording as well.